Marvel Legends, The Sentinel. This is a bat figure, a build a figure. So, this is one of the coolest build a figures that Marvel Legends has ever made. He's freaking awesome. To build him, you need to buy um, first appearing Spider-Man, Angel, Black Panther, Omega Red, Cyclops, Mr. Sinister, and Mystique. Right here is a picture of the series, Marvel Legends. Each of them comes with a piece of the Sentinel. The Sentinel is 16 inches tall. He is huge. He's, he's bigger than 12 inch action figures. And he weighs a lot. Pretty hefty figure. Pretty awesome. Any collector should have this. Especially if you're an X-Men fan. Accessories. He comes with these two bendable wire tentacles. And they go attach right here at the hand. See? And you can attach it to this hand as well. So you have two. So you could pose them with these. They look really nice. The Sentinel is a villain of the X-Men. He um, basically is a, it's like an army of robots that anti-mutant uh, people build to exterminate mutants. Uh, they always come out in the comic books different, drawn differently. They're always giant robots. They're sometimes a building size. Sometimes they're like, uh, you know, you know, like 10 feet big. Sometimes they're 30 feet big, like Gundam size. So they come in different forms. Um, they're always drawn differently and they're just one of the coolest villains in Marvel that I, I mean I, I love the Sentinels so it's a pretty cool figure for articulation this figure has really awesome articulation which I was really glad they did and that's one of the reasons I got him because he's just not just a statue he's actually built for articulation his head can go three. His head can go 360, but I don't want to push it all the way because I don't want him to get loose. These, these figures can become loose if you push the joints too far. His head can go a little bit down and a little bit up, but that's okay because that's just the way the design of the robot is. So and it's pretty cool. His arm has like his his shoulders have these. Uh, shoulder pads they're made out of a soft like rubber substance you can push them up and you can rotate his arm 360 <laughs> 360 all the way out his arms go in and out he has rotation at the biceps Elbow bends. It sounds like a ratchet joint, you hear it? Just like a Rebel Tech. And he has rotation at the um, wrists. And he has up back and forth a little bit. So that's pretty cool. Now, they did something really nice with these figures. They gave him joints at the fingers. So you can pose his hand in many different ways. You see? Even the thumb has a joint. So that's pretty awesome. And he has this repulsor thing here with. You can test the tentacles. His torso has the ability to bend pretty good, as you can see. And bend backwards. He has another hole here too. I'm not too sure what that's for. His torso also can turn 360 this way, but I won't because I don't want him to get loose. And it also turns here at the bottom at the waist he go 360 as well so his torso has amazing articulation 
his joint here at his thigh can go back and forth. And in and out. Just a little, but it does work. He has rotation at the upper thigh. And he has knee articulation here, which is pretty awesome. Look at that. Just like the ratchet joints. And he has artic a little articulation here at the feet. His feet are big and stumpy. So it goes a little bit up and down and sideways. So basically, the Sentinel has a lot of articulation. It looks amazing. The sculpt is beautiful. The sculpt is beautiful. I even saw the site where the guy sculpted this figure. He did it all by hand. It was not, there were no computers or anything used. It's all by hand. The paint job is really nice. Uh, the color scheme is like a metallic uh, wash, uh, purple and dark blue. It's, it's just really awesome. I've seen some customs on, on eBay, on the internet, where they put lights in the chest and in the eyes. I mean, they look so nice. Or repaint the whole figure like the classic versions of the Sentinels in the 80s. Uh, I want to recommend this comic book right here. Uh, this is the first time I saw the Sentinels. It's in the Uncanny X-Men number 202. And you see the um, Sentinels fighting with the X-Men. It's a future alternate future story about the X-Men being killed by the Sentinels and uh, in New York and they look so cool. The X-Men, this is in 1987. The X-Men look punk. Um, I have a little picture here. As you can see, they look punk. It's, a, it's pretty cool. Uh, Storm has a mohawk. Uh, Rogue has a, mo a mullock that looks like a mohawk. This girl right here, Rachel, she's supposed to be uh, the Dark Phoenix, I think. And it's just like, it's pretty cool. Like, you see Omo dressed up like these, they look like a rock band. It, it just, I really recommend you to see the X-Men, like in 1987, uh, for the Uncanny X-Men. Those issues are, they rock. That's when I started collecting comics and I got hooked. So, yeah. The Sentinel, pretty awesome figure. Oh, I wanted to say one more thing. You see how this arm comes off? Well, I don't think that's an accident because the joint here and here, the joints are longer and they go in and they snap, but here they don't. I think they did that on purpose for this arm and this leg so you can, when, you're, when a kid is playing with it, he can battle damage it, you know? Because that's one of the things you always see, the, you know, in the comic books, they're all like battle damage and stuff, so. I think that's a pretty cool idea. I still don't know what this is for, except that maybe you put the tunnel going here and, and you kind of like, I don't know, maybe he's recharging, but I don't know. So the Sentinel, I, I highly recommend this figure. It's awesome. You can get them on eBay for like 36 bucks, 40 bucks. So it's a beautiful figure. If you're an X-Men fan and you're a collector, forget it. It's a must-have. I wanted to get two more, but, you know, I wasn't able to. So um, I'm pretty happy with this guy. So uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and talk to you guys later.